in this video we're going to look at how to make a cosmetic or banner design in photoshop and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again so today we're going to look at how to make a cosmetic web banner design in photoshop and we are going to make use of this particular gentleman over here he's a model and an actor in ghana he's called calibos so without further ado let's get into the video so i'm going to use the size 4800 by 1480 all in pixels and then i'm going to maintain the resolution at 300 so i'll click ok and then we get started first of all i'm going to add a gradient overlay to this document that we've set and i've already set the gradient so if you want to see uh, the code that i used this is the particular code and then this is the other one over here so you can check it out and then so i'll click ok and then i'm going to set the style to radial and then i'm going to reverse it and then i'm trying to scale it up to something like this that i want and then over here you can drag it to the other side because we will be replacing we'll be replacing some things at this particular side so they're like that and then you click ok next i'm going to bring in my model so I call him my actor so i'll bring him over here and then place him somewhere there and i'll press ctrl t to transform him so that he almost fits to the size of the banner so next i'm going to type in a test and then i'm going to make use of the font acrobat and then i can choose to decrease the size and i'm going to type in best collection and then I can resize it over here. I like the color that I'm using. It's almost like the background over here, but a bit more brighter than that one. So I'll make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl J and then I'll edit that one to for men. And then over here, I'm going to highlight men and then I'm going to change the color to something yellowish. I love yellow also. so something yellowish like that and then i'll click ok so you try to position it just simple like that next we're going to add the perfumes to the banner so i have a couple of perfumes over here first of all i'm going to place this particular one i've named it perfume over here and i'm going to place it from the highest to i downloaded this from google and you can see already that it has the reflection made so you just leave it like that and then you place it around here so you can drag the line across the grid line to this particular area so that you can see where you are going to place the rest of them and next i'm going to place this particular perfume and then i will resize it it also has its own reflection so i won't bother myself to create a reflection for it again but the last two i think are not having a reflection so we would have to do it for them all right so i'm arranging it from the highest to the lowest and the next one would have to be this particular perfume i got all these from google and then all rights reserved to the various owners of the perfumes i have no idea where it's coming from but i'm just using it for educational purposes only so over there and the last one is not a png file so i have to go to open and then i'll open this particular one i'll select the eraser tool so i have the magic eraser tool and then i'm going to select it once and then come over here and select it and then i'll drag it into our timeline or our project so i can open it up like that and place it over here so as you can see it has arranged very neatly and nicely and then you can see that these two the last two that we placed in 
they are not having the reflection so we have to create it for them so you select both of them that is this one and that one you select both of them and then you group it and then you make a duplicate of the groupings right click and go to convert to smart objects so you right click again and you rasterize it and then you make a duplicate of that rasterize we made a duplicate because anything can happen so i can just turn this one up so this first the second duplicate that we made press ctrl t and then you you flip it vertical and then over here you bring it right beneath it and then you decrease the opacity very low to about 50 percent and that's it so next i can decide to copy this particular test and then i'm going to edit that one to 20 percent let me make it 20 percent okay so like 20 percent off and then i'm going to select this one because i was already doing a project which required that i decrease the size of the vertical leading so i'll place it over here and then change the font to white the color sorry the color to white and then i'll place it somewhere around here so 20 percent off and the last one i'm going to do is i'm going to select my rectangle draw a cute rectangle around here and that one has to be white also so i'll place it right on top of the grid line and then i'll bring it over here like that so i'm going to copy this one the test and then i'll edit that to order now so that's it and then you transform it and bring it over here so we have to change the color so that it can blend well well okay so you change the color from here and then i think this one is okay and then we'll place it on top like that so that you can see it very nice and neat over there so you can zoom in very clearly and then you can transform it a little bit more you take your time to make this look very neat and nice last thing i'm going to select my model and then i'll press ctrl m that is the curves and i want to brighten up or i want to bring in the blues more so that it can reflect with the background of this particular web banner so i'll select the blue from the channel and then increase it on top a little bit more so that it can just reflect with what we have or at the background and when you are done with that everything sets anything that you would like to add is at your own risk thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and comment down below if this was helpful or not and any ideas video ideas that you would want me to make a tutorial on again thank you so much for watching and i'll get back to you with another one innocent here bye